Well, good morning. My name is David Kenny, and I am the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. And no, that is not a Christmas tree. It's actually a Chrismon tree. I know it's a funny word, but it's the joining of two other words, Christ and monogram. And together, the decorations, well, and even the tree itself, they tell a little piece of the story of Jesus, and we learn from it at Christmas time. How did it all start? Where did it come from? Well, Francis Kip Spencer was a member of the Ascension Lutheran Church in Danville, Virginia, and she created the very first Christmas tree in 1957. Spencer wanted to decorate the Christmas tree at her church with spiritually themed ornaments. She didn't want the plastic snowflakes or the jolly Santa Claus. So she made sequined silver and gold doves hanging upside down, descending from heaven, ornaments in the shapes of crosses, Greek letters, butterflies, fish, all beautiful against this deep evergreen, the familiar Christmas tree. And we have one in our family life center at our church. The evergreen tree, I said, was also a symbol. And it is. It's always been a symbol of everlasting life. The tree in your house when it's snowing outside reminds us of the hope that life returns. Well, eventually the tradition of the Chrismon tree took hold. It grew in popularity and it became a staple in Methodist churches, Presbyterian, and interdenominational Protestant churches. Our ornaments are very special. Each one was handmade years ago by women at our church. So I thought it'd be fun to spend the month of December from now all the way until Christmas Day looking at the ornaments that hang there, getting to know our tree, and what all of these different symbols mean and how they relate to Christmas. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a really special ornament. This is the hand of God. The hand of God is both an Old Testament and New Testament symbol. The hand on this ornament, you can see, is descending from a cloud, which is a symbol for God's power, but it also reminds us that he lives in heaven. And seeing it reminds us of God's handiwork in Genesis, in those very first days of creation. But when you look at the bulk of verses that speak about God's hands, they're not really verses about creating or punishing. They're actually verses about care and protection. Isaiah chapter 41 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. You know, when I see the hand of God on the Christmas tree, it reminds me that I am his child and I have nothing to fear. But I said that this symbol was also a New Testament symbol. How so? Well, because it was the hands of Jesus nailed to a cross that set me free. This Christmas, know that you are not alone. You are cared for, you are protected, and you are saved by the loving hands of God. Merry Christmas.